In this video, I will show you how to get all your important information from all your applications together in one central feed within your digital workspace. By doing this, you don't have to switch between your applications to search for your tasks, but you will have one overview for all your work. To do this, we will bring them in the activity feed using our activity feed API and a citizen integration tool. In this video, I will use Power Automate, but you can also use Zapier, if this then that, and many other tools to get your information into the workspace. The first step we will take is we will create an API token from the Workspace 365 settings page. You go to your admin setting page and then to the API settings. Here you will create a new authentication token and we will name it Corona Email. And what we will do is we will try to make a notification when there is an email containing the word Corona. After creating the authentication token, we will go to Power Automate to create a new automation. You will create an automation from blank, and here you will also call it mail containing corona. It's an email with a virus. You will look for a new email which arrives, and you will create a automation. Here you will also have the ability to set the importance of a email. So if it's high priority, you will get a email or else you will not. Then you create a next step and now we will use this to see if the email contains the word Corona. So here I will choose the subject contains Corona and I will add another row because I also want to check the body of the text to see if it contains Corona and after you set this up the power automation will check when a new email arrives with a high priority if it contains the word Corona then after that, you want to make sure that there's an action which is performed. So we will click on add action and here we will look for HTTP. And you click on that one, use this one. And here you will fill in the information which you can get from our activity feed API. This is available on our support portal when you look for activity feed API. There it is already. And you go to this part and we will use this data to fill in the power automation so we will use post he will fill in the URL or the URI of the workspace Enter the headers. You will fill in the host, which is just this part. And here you will get the authentication token from your workspace. So we will go to the settings page. We will copy the new token. Go back to Power Automate and we will paste the token here. Then you are ready to fill in the body of the text, which you can also find here. So you can just copy and paste these values and paste them. And then we can adjust them. This is the icon which is the same as in the workspace 365 app store you can have the title of your email um, so we will now use the dynamic content to do this we will say subject subject by that one and we will also 
now use the email app to open the right email when it's sent of course when you use a dynamic field you can open the right email and you can also use this to get your information from your crm system or your patient records into the workspace we will now save this automation and we will do a test to see if it worked and let's perform a trigger action we will go to your automation to see if it worked as you can now see the flow tested successfully so let's go to the workspace and you will see that you have the notification in your workspace which you can then of course open so this is how you get your information from your applications within your activity feed like i said you can use power automate you can also use zapier or if this then that to create these type of integrations if you want to create your own integrations go to the activity feed api on the support portal to see these steps and i hope to see you in the next video so don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel